I've got this in the mail today. Cooper's kit. Not your normal Cooper's kit. They only started this a couple of months ago. Uh, I don't usually buy these sort of kits. I usually just buy the, the tins and uh, go to the local home brew shop and uh, you know, pick out what I want to put in it and uh, make my own beers. But uh, this one's called Hop Cobbler. So I thought I'd give it a try. Hops. Love it. See what's in it, eh?
make sure as much as it as you can. You want it every one of them cracked if you can possibly do it. It's a little bit hard to check, but I won't show you all, all of it. Now I've cracked all that. I'm going to stick it into two litres of uh, cold water uh, and bring it up to around 70 degrees. I'll stick the lid on and just leave it in the saucepan for uh, oh, half an hour, 40 minutes, give it a stir. Um, I probably won't even check the temperature again, it'll be fine. It'll stay warm enough for that time, uh, as long as the lid's on it. Uh, Now that that's been sitting there for a good half an hour, steeping, I've stirred it a couple of times and I'm just going to strain it into my uh, oil pot. get some stuck in the saucepan but since we're going to rinse this with a little bit of hot water anyway it's boiled but it's not boiling it's cooled down a little bit pour some more water in make sure your grains are going to fall out of your sieve give it a stir and pour the rest in Now the next thing we're going to do is there was about there's two litres I started with. We're going to lose some in the grain, so uh, I want it up to about three litres in the pot. So I reckon if I put over just over a litre, which is what's in this, then uh, we should be right. And it just rinses the rest of the goodness out of those grains. You don't want boiling water though. That's it for the uh, steeping part of it anyway. Excuse my baby's uh, noises in the background. But, uh... Now the next thing we have to do is boil it. Um, what I'm going to do is boil this for uh, uh, maybe uh, five minutes and then I'm going to add, I've decided five grams of each fugles and the goldings um, and boil them. All right, now that's been boiling. It's just the choc malt tea. Um, it's been boiling for uh, about six, seven minutes now to be truthful. And I'm going to add five grams of uh, each of the hops and boil it for uh, seven minutes just to add some flavor, extra flavor to the beer. I set my phone for seven minutes. That's been boiling now but with the hops in it for about seven minutes after I put the hops in. So what I do now is turn the heat off. I'll uh, stir in this uh, light dry malt with the heat off. 500 grams. And I'll put the, the, the pre-hot can in and the can of amber malt as well. Give it a good stir and then we cool it down as best we can. I usually uh, boil about uh, eight litres of uh, water the night before for 20 minutes and then whack it in the fridge, sealed, and uh, I use that to cool my water down. It's uh, easy for me and it works. It's never fun. Alright, I've put the uh, dry mold in already. That's dissolved. What? This is the uh, English bitter. I'm going to pour that in. I just 
scrape down the sides. If you want to be really fussy, you can put some uh, boiled water in there and swirl it around. I don't usually bother. I can scrape out most of it. It stirs in really easy. It's easier than doing it in the fermenter, I find. This is a, a 19 litre pot, but even now we're only up to about here. See that? Only down, not even a third full yet. Alright, that's stirred in. And here's the uh, one and a half kilo of amber malt. I do the same with that to stir it in. Scrape down the sides again. It. You've got to be really careful from now. That's got to stay sanitised in there. So just stir it in. And now all you want to do is, however you do it, cool this down as fast as you can. As I said, I usually put in. Uh, I've got cold water in the fridge. I'm going to put in. So that's not very exciting to show, it's just cold water. I just want to add another way I've cooled it down before is uh, to get like a, a, an old two litre ice cream container or something like that and add water, uh, sanitise the container and then uh, add cold water to it. If your water's clean like ours is here, we can use our cold water straight from the tap. Um, if not, boil it, stick it in the uh, ice cream container and whack it in the freezer and then you've got like a big ice block to cool down your uh, cool it down with fast um, not a lot of people do that but I've done it before without any worries at all but the next thing to do after that's cooled down I just pour it straight into the uh, fermenter Recipe says 25 litres. Um, most of them are around 23, but I'll top this one up to the 25. And uh, as described in the instructions, just to see how it turns out, uh, I'd, yeah, I'd stop around 20, 20 litres, something like that. Just check the temperature and whether you have to add hot water or cold water to get it to your desired uh, temp for your yeast, whatever yeast you're using. I'm going to use a US 5. Um, they're better brewed at around 18 to 20 degrees, these beers, but um, I don't mind starting a little high and letting them drop down. You're not supposed to do that, but it, it doesn't. Uh, I haven't had any effects from it at all. Uh, all right, well, that's about it. There isn't really much else I can uh, do or tell you. It's not really an instructional video, it's more uh, um, how I slightly modified this new Cooper's uh, kit and to see how it turns out. Uh, I'll bottle it in a couple of weeks. I'll probably leave it in the primary. I don't bother with secondary anymore. Um, I found it a waste of time. I don't have much time anymore because I have a baby. That was good. That was on cue. Um, uh, yeah, so I'll bottle it after two weeks. Ten days to two weeks I'll leave it. Um, if it hasn't fermented by then, there's something wrong. I don't usually test it until then. Uh, I test it when I think it's going to be bottling day. You can, you know, if your uh, final gravity isn't down by then, then there's something wrong. Um, yes, and that's how I go when there's something wrong. I get very but it doesn't happen that um, there's something wrong. It's very, very rarely. Um, and that's about it. That's all I can say. Cheese and out. <laughs>